Hello my dear cooties, how are you all? Welcome to Kid Short Stories. Hope you enjoyed yesterday video. How did Ganesha get the face of elephant? Okay, fine. Let's see what is the story for today. Before seeing the story, whoever are not subscribed, please subscribe Kid Short Stories channel. Click on the bell button and select all. Only then you will get notification whenever a new video is uploaded. Like the video, comment on the comment section and share with your friends and family. Okay, come let's get inside a story for today. Today's story name is The Price of Greed. What is it? A price of greed. When someone gets so very much greedy, what will be the price given for that? Okay, let's see the story. There was a king in a city called Banaras. Have you heard about Banaras? There is a city called Banaras. There was a king ruling that city. He had a very clever minister who always gave the sound advice to the king. That minister used to give a very good, a clever ideas to the king for the ruling of a kingdom. Pleased with his service, the king decided to appoint him the headman of a village responsible for collecting taxes. The king was very happy with the service given by that minister. So what was the king decided? The king decided to appoint him the headman. Uh, he want to appoint one more person to him for in helping him in uh, collecting the taxes and everything from the village. He, that person will be called as headman. The, so the headman was appointed for a minister. The minister gladly went to the village where he was warmly welcomed by the villagers. So when he was very happy, there was a headman appointed for him by the king. He, uh, he was very happy and he went into the village. There all the people of village welcomed him with uh, flowers and everything. They praised him so much. They welcomed him happily. The villagers held their headman in great esteem. What happened? They welcomed that minister with a great esteem. They were very happy because he was a very good person. They completely trusted his decisions and followed his advice without raising a question. Whenever this minister used to tell any ideas, anything to the people or the king, they used to just accept whatever they heated because he was a trusted person. His decisions and his advice was such a good idea. So they never raised, about to raise a question, why you are doing, why are you telling that? like that. They never used to put a question to him. They just used to accept those decisions and advices. However, he was a greedy man and wanted to hoard as much wealth as he could through his collections. He was a good person but he was very greedy. He want to collect how much money he want, is possible so that he may, he may be very rich person very soon. He want to be a rich person as soon as possible. So he, he was very greedy in collecting money and earning much money as much as possible. So he made friends with some bandits and struck a wicked deal with them. What did he do? To collect money as much as possible, he made a friendship with some bad persons and he made a idea or there's a deal they made, a decision they took in uh, collecting money. I'll take the villages to the jungle on some pretext and when they are away, you can enter the village and rob the houses. What did they plan? The minister said he will take the villages into the jungle telling some story to them and somehow I'll take them to the jungle. When we reach some far place from their village, you all can enter the village and rob the houses of those villagers. But remember, you will have to give me off of the loot. But what is the condition? He said, whatever you loot, whatever you take rob from those houses, you need to give off of them to me. So the minister told to the friends he uh, with whom he made this bad idea so a day was decided upon and the headman led the villagers to the nearby jungle saying they needed to hunt some deer for the village feast 
so one they fixed a day on which day they do all this plants uh, so what he do he took all the villages to a hunt, uh, jungle telling that they need to hunt some deer for the village fees that's going to come without the least idea of any foul play the villagers gleefully accompanied him and singing merrily on the way what did the villagers do they didn't even think why is he telling like that why they want all the village people to come with him for to offer hunting of deer they did not even think about it they just happily followed that uh, minister singing songs happily and they followed him without even thinking about his bad idea so when all the villagers went out to a jungle with the minister the robbers entered the village robbed all the valuables and also took away the cattle what did they do the friends whom the minister plan na so those people those robbers entered the village and took away all the valuable things from the home and even the cattle whatever they had cow sheep goats whatever they had they just took away that also on the same day a merchant from a distant land happened to come to trade in that village so when this was happening there was a merchant the person who sells and buys items right that person actually planned to come to this village for a uh trading when he saw the empty houses he decided to wait on the outskirts till the villagers returned so when this when he came and saw there was nothing all the houses were empty there was nothing inside or outside the house all with the whole village was empty so he was not having any idea what had happened so he planned to wait in the village till the villagers return as he stood waiting he caught sight of the bandits running away with goods and cattle while he was sitting and waiting there for the villagers to come on the other side he suddenly saw the robbers are running away with the goods that they robbed from the houses and all the cattle he also saw that the headman was leading the villagers back to the village asking them to beat their drums loud so as to chase away any wild animals close by the other side when the robbers were running away with the goods and cattle he saw the minister was leading the villagers back to the village and asking them to beat the drums as loudly as possible because if any wild animals are entered the village that will run away before the villagers near the village but it was just another of his tricks to caution the bandits of the returning villagers but what was that was that real reason was that drums were been uh, played uh, just because to run uh, uh, chase away the wild animals no it was a uh, another trick just to uh, inform the robbers that villagers are returning to the village when the villagers reached the village they were shocked to see that all their belongings had gone so when they heard this drum sound all the robbers run away, ran away with all the goods and cattle and the villagers reached the vill- houses when they reached and they saw the houses all houses were empty everything was just robbed so they were shocked to see this nothing the, all their belongings had gone what will we do now we have been ruined they lamented they all the villagers started to cry what will we do all our earnings have been ruined everything has been robbed our cattle have gone so they crying pretending to be very sad and concerned the headman said this is indeed a serious wrong done to us but this headman what the minister what he is doing he is just acting as if he don't know anything he is just acting and telling that oh i am really sorry this is seriously a wrong thing that has happened we have to find the culprit and punish him he said uh, we surely will inform to the king and will find the person who ever robbed it and we will punish him he was acting as if he is very sad and doesn't know anything just then the merchant who had witnessed everything walked up and announced loudly so there was a merchant waiting outside right who came for trading he had seen already everything right so he came and announced just informed all the villagers 
this headman of yours is a cheat he said to all the villagers this minister is a cheat he is the one who helped the bandits run away with your valuables by asking you to beat the drums while returning from the jungle he told this fellow is the person who actually led the robbers and he is the person who helped the robbers to run away from here by asking you people to beat the drums so that they can hear the sound and run away he has joined hands with the bandits this minister joined the hands with robbers he is a cheat he informed everything to the villagers the angry villagers reported the matter to the king what happened when the villagers came to know about all this through a merchant they just went directly to the king and informed everything what happened to the king so while the king heard about it on investigation the headman was found guilty what did the king do he did not just said to punish the minister he want to inquire right he need to investigate whether it was true or not when king investigated on this matter he found that the minister was found guilty so the king said to the headman you will not only be given righteous punishment but your honored title privileges and luxuries will be taken away your greed has cost you a lot what did the king do he punished the merchant uh, that minister but also he told him you will not only get a correct punishment to you but also the title whatever given to you will be taken away all the luxuries all the privileges whatever rights you had everything will be taken away because you were so greedy you got this punishment if you're not greedy you would have led a happy life as a headman of that village with all the luxuries and privileges you would have led a beautiful life because you were greedy you lost everything with this he entered the greedy headman to life imprisonment and gave each villager a 100 gold coins and a cow as compensation for the loss what did the king do he not only punished that minister but he also gave all the villagers 100 gold coins each each house he gave 100 gold coins and also a cow for that livelihood and he uh, left, uh, when, um, made the minister go into the prison for the life long that's the end of the story so what was the moral you get you should not be greedy whatever you have whatever you earn you need to be happy with that you need to learn how to lead life with that amount whatever you are earning okay kids fine we'll see tomorrow with a new story okay take care bye have a nice day please subscribe the channel kid short stories click on the bell button and select all only then you'll get notification whenever a new video is uploaded like the video comment in the comment section and share with your friends and family take care bye